Hello friends, this is Satyavan Panchal and today we will be discussing on another graphics program that will tell us how to use filling of different patterns using C graphics. Okay, the program I made I am going to show you and then step by step we will proceed on doing its explanation okay first of all I'd like to show you the output of this program and the output goes like this way ah yeah this is a nice pattern to see here we have used circles increasing radius we have used and then filling them with the different kind of pattern and different kind of colors okay let's move back to our program well yeah okay so we start here by <coughs> sorry by creating a circle first of all creating a circle we have created a circle first with the increasing radius the radius is each time increasing by multiples of 20 okay this variable I have used already variable is used for radius and this is the circle as you know that the circle is drawn with a two center point that is from where we have to put one part of our uh, apparatus and then radius okay so here what strategy I have taken is that I am taking a loop from 1 to 11 well this loop will be running for 11 times and we are to create 11 circles now let us take this x and this y now what is get max s x this is actually keeping returning the maximum number of x or this width as my cursor is moving this width this total width c graphics is using and get max y get max x y get max y sorry is giving this very height okay and <coughs> by x and y we are trying to get the center point of this screen from where I have to uh, draw my circles ok right now radius is given here to draw the circle and as I explained that it is multiple of 20 now set fill style is a method that is concerned and this is this now there are many type of patterns that are, I can fill and see using graphics and the method sets actually two things number one pattern number two color now let us see what type of patterns we can fill our shapes with fill patterns okay now see these are the patterns the patterns are of 13 type here from 0 to 12 and there are different patterns okay now these patterns are like this way some are simple hyphens some are backslash forward slash thick lines thin lines line hatches and all okay these are the patterns different patterns now if we move back on to our previous help how this function is working is like this way okay we can take a string array and then initialize them with the different things and then we use pattern okay uh, this is used here set fill style okay styles can be fixed now if we give integer values at the place of this pattern it will automatically pick the values from the 
pattern okay see here uh, fill patterns we can either give the name like empty fill solid fill or we can give their values directly 0 1 2 up to 12 you know now the second thing is color color also if you know that for colors we can give direct values or we can give their names like red black green cyan and all that so for that we'll have to store it into the string type okay character array in c now flood fill flood fill is some another method that actually fills a circle okay or any other shape circle is in the case we are taking here now it is taking three arguments flood fill is taking three arguments first is x second is y and third is get max color now let us go to its prototype or definition these are the points x y and border now what are these x y and border actually if you want to fill any circle then circle goes like this way okay and in that circle will have to specify any point within the circle because if we are going to fill this then it is like a, a bucket uh, with the color and we drop the color in that circle then all the boundary will stop the color going out from the circle and it will fill all the boundary within the circle okay now x plus radius minus 2 what what does it mean is i want to put x axis within the circle within the circle radius minus 2 means within the circle i want to put it now if it is 20 so in first go i is 1 okay i is i is 1 and 20 star i will be 20 radius will be 20 in first go okay i'll draw a circle with the radius 20 now this point will lie x plus means in the middle of the screen my x is and radius minus 2 means on 18 and y is y is the middle y okay so first circle will be filled with this now get max color uh, it's a tradition to put get max color here whenever we use uh, flood fill okay like this way uh, flood fill get max color okay if you want to know about more details about of, of flood fill you can go just put your cursor here and just right click and you can see the details of flood fill how the flood fill is doing for me okay now sound sound is actually a function uh, that make the beep sound by using your uh, uh, CPU's little, little speaker uh, and <clears throat> say mind it there is no extra speaker required to be attached with this to make the sound delay now the delay is you know that it is used to delay uh, your output for some time uh, if we give here any 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 uh, value then it is milliseconds if i give here 1000 it will be one second then after 100 milliseconds i want to uh, 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 well i want to make a sound with the frequency 200 and then i want to keep the sound for 100 second 100 milliseconds then i want to stop the sound and further delay for the 100 milliseconds so this will be the way this will work for me okay now uh, i can draw it by using f7 okay f7 i keep on pressing f7 and f7 is to uh, execute your program actually step by step okay now circle is drawn flood fill is drawn and then alt f5 i can do like this way okay and uh, then i press enter and then i again do f7 it will make some sign sound sorry and no sound is executed again then a delay will be done and again we move on to set fill style it will change my pattern and the color according to value of i then radius is again increased by 
uh, here on the next step I will be 2 uh, then radius will be 40 and circle will the bigger will be bigger than the earlier circle so uh, flood fill is, is now now concentrate when I am drawing the another one circle then this point is required to be in the second circle so as to uh, fill in the second circle so x is my middle point radius is 40 and 40 minus 2 is 38 so my this at this point 48 and my y will be lying into the second circle so mind it if this will not be lying in the second circle it will uh, it will draw like you know uh, in not within the circle so f7 i do and uh, i do this one uh, and this one i can see alt f5 my display like this way so this is working like this way so if i show you how it will not work in correct way if i do not do this point correctly radius plus 2 if i do then it will be means i am knowingly doing this mistake uh, like this way okay see this see this will be the output right now this will be the output so to correctly draw and not to draw outside we ha will have to make it correct entry point at that place okay so this will be the way we can do a bit of animation and bit of sound and bit of pattern making okay well thank you for any query you can uh, subscribe me on my youtube channel and you can mail me at uh, or you can comment me you can mail me at uh, panchal dot satyaman at gmail dot com right so have a nice time goodbye take care